Welcome back to Pokemon Cards Episode 5. So, I mean, it's been a while because I've... Honestly, because I've been like, I don't really want to do this for a while. Yep, now is uh, February 1st of 2019. Happy 2019, everyone, I hope. I mean, it hasn't been... I don't... It didn't start out that happy. For, for like, a lot of people. Anyways... So yeah, we're just gonna pick off or pick up where I think we left off. I mean, my cards could all be wrong. I mean, I just have a pile of cards that I still need to go through and all that stuff. No idea. Maybe I, you know, after spending like six months not doing this, maybe my cards have got shuffled. Wouldn't that be a thing? Anyways, let's hope I still remember to do this. Anyways, um, Dark War Turtle, evolve some Squirtle. One type got six HP. Start a Pokemon length, three foot, uh, three inches, weight, 50 pounds. It's got a double slap, flip two coins, as deck does 10 damage times the number of heads. <laughs> It'll be a maximum of 20 and a minimum of zero, right? Well, yeah, that's how multiplication works. And then, which it only takes one water energy, and the mirror shell takes one water energy and one colorless energy. So that means any type of energy, apparently, I thought... You know, when I always thought that it was like, well, because Dragon and Normal and all that used to be... Dragon now is his own thing, but, you know, it all used to be colorless, and um, there is actually a um, energy card as well eventually we'll go to. Yeah, eventually I'll show off my energy cards, but, um, yeah. Energy cards that are colorless, so I thought that's what you always had to use. But no, apparently you can use any type of... Uh, any type of card. Anyways, um, Mirror Shell, if an attack does damage Dark War Turtle during your opponent's next turn, even if War Dark War Turtle is knocked out. Dark War Turtle attacks damaging defending Pokemon for an equal amount of damage. So if you hit it with 120, and it's going to do 120 right back at you. It's weak to electric, it's resistance to nothing, and it costs um, one energy card to retreat. Pokemon with a negative attitude and hides in its shell whenever it's in a bad mood, which is often level 21, number 8. Uh, illustrated by Kigiru Miro Himeno from the 95, 96, and 98 collection. Yeah, I don't remember exactly. Um, wait, does it... I didn't check. Does video actually... Uh, so I'm moving... I'm moving my borders around, but does video actually zoom it in? Yeah, and it's zoomed out all the way. That's odd. Anyway, so we got another one of these weird cards. War Turtle, number eight. Type water. This is a second stage of evolution for Squirtle. And the book has very little information regarding this elusive water Pokemon. War Turtle often hides in the water to sock unwary prey. For swimming very fast, it moves his ears to maintain balance and maneuver. Ash has apparently never encountered a war turtle. Apparently. And I believe that is a Zubat. I, I should hope I'd know. I mean, this is original 151. Is it original 150 or 151? When did Mew get introduced? When is Mew a thing? Feeling a Mew's always been a thing, considering that truck... Anyways, Blastoise, 120 HP, water type. It's a stage 2 evolution, evolves from War Turtle. It's got a Poke Body. Uh, it's illustrated by Kukui Seteo. It's got a Poke Body, water pressure. As long as Blastoise's remaining HP is 40 or less, it does 40 more damage to the defending Pokemon before applying weakness and resistance. Then Hydro Pump, um, 1 water, 2 colorless. Uh, 50 plus does 50 damage plus 20 more damage for each water energy attached to Bastoise, but not used to pay for this tax energy cost. You can't add more than 40 damage in this way. And then weakness to electricity, um, no resistance, and then it costs 2 energy to retreat, and it's from 2006. And then number 9, Blastoise. Uh, type water description. Blastoise is the final stage of evolution for Squirtle. Blastoise can be a brutal Pokemon uh, with pressures water jets on its shell. These water jets are used for high speed tackles. Though an actual Blastoise does not yet appear in the television series, a giant robot Blastoise shows up to cause trouble as our heroes and Team Rocket get marooned on an island of giant robotic creatures for some reason. For experience episode 17, Island of Giant Pokemon. And I believe that is um, the Termulean. It's like, it's not Charizard, it's not. And then we got number nine, Turtok. 
Um, art is art is with sir. Um, best trio young. To talk is does less uh, inch will young stay on von shiggy. To talk con in that brutal as well on mit under drug. Sir Hander was tradition of senior panzer seam. So this is German, German, just from the fact panzer. This was tradition word in Sir Schnell's one dig kids nangriff. That is quite the word, isn't it? What word is that? There's one, let's see, first sentence, Squirtle is apparently Shiggy. Um, to talk when in Sin Pandersian. Should we shall? Yes, Wolstrophin must be Pokemon. This Wolstrophin used for, that's hide speed tackles, apparently. It is Shulgish when... The kit sangrif, jeez. Verwendet. I feel like when your words are longer than a sentence, then maybe, maybe your words a little bit too long. A wee bisher in the furnishery and all keen actor turtak, ashinin is threat in reason robotin turtak off on bring on sir here on team rocket in. Schwergeke, Schwergetin, Alsif, Af, Inner, Insel, Met, Raisin, Robotner, Isle, Gerson, and Warden. Iste, Eskirnin, Volga, Seventeen, Insel, Der Gigantin. Then we got Caterpie, uh, 40 HP, Worm Pokemon, Length, 1 foot, and that's it, Weight, 6 pounds. So, uh, for 1 Leaf Energy, you can use String Shot. Flip a coin, if heads, uh, defending Pokemon is now paralyzed, does 10 damage. It's weakness to fire, it's resistant to nothing, and it's retreat co cost is 1 energy. Short feet are tipped with suction pads that enable it to tirelessly climb slopes and walls. Level 13, apparently, yet it's not a Butterfree. Number 10. It's illustrated by Ken Sugimori, 95, 96, 98. And then it says 99 to 2000, although I assume that's Wizards. Is that... Is that... Ooh. I guess that's the company that makes this. Isn't that the company that makes everything? Anyways. So, <coughs> next stack of cards. We got Caterpie, uh, 40 HP. It's a leaf type. I mean, it isn't, but we'll go with that. How hard? I mean, I'm reading this to you, so I guess it doesn't necessarily matter how hard it is. To read that, although I'm pretty sure the shine doesn't help. Number 10, worm Pokemon height, 1 foot, weight, 6.4 pounds. Uh, it has the ability Adaptive Evolution. This Pokemon can evolve during your first turn or the turn you can play it. Uh, it's got Bug Bite for 1 Leaf Energy, uh, dealing 10 damage. So weakness of 5 times 2, it's resistant to nothing. So it has a retreat cost of 1 energy. For protection, it releases a horrible stench from the antennae on its head to drive away enemies. Um, 20, it's from 2014, and it's illustrated by Sumiyoshi Kishi. And it's the same exact card, except not foil. And then we got Caterpie, uh, basic Pokemon 40 IP leaf type. Worm Pokemon length uh, 0.3 meters. I guess comma point. They don't say like a comma, right? Comma 3 meters. Uh, Gewicht 2.9 kilograms. For one leaf energy, you can cast bin cast yeah bin short. Uh, Gui on one op als het kop is is the verdict and the Pokemon new volumed. It's got ten, for 10 damage. Zwakt is fire, where stand is nothing. Turok Trekken Skorten is uh, one energy. Zen, Kort, Voges, Heben, and Zuganab, Anhan, Tiand, Wood, Herj, Anvermober, Taken, Hillingen, 
in Marin Khan Opkruppen. It's a uh, number, I guess, 13, it's number 10. Uh, um, level is searching. So by Ken Sugimori from 95, 96, 98. And then we got Caterpie, number 10. Type Bug. Swifting Caterpie's short feet are tipped with suction pads that able to tirelessly come slow, clum, climb slopes and walls and Ash catches a Pokemon. Payful Caterpie dreams of a flowery future where it might fly free as graceful Butterfree. Ash was first captured this Pokemon to save the day from a surprise attack by Team Rocket by capturing the corrupt crew in its sinewy web and sending them off to oblivion, apparently. <laughs> Say hi to all the Daedras, I guess. So I'm now playing Skyrim. Uh, first appearance, episode 3. Ash catches a Pokemon. I believe that is a Radita. I don't know. I'm not, because... I could zoom it in, but... Then that's a little bit close. I mean, I should be doing that, but then that's painful. And also number 10 is Shinipon. Uh, type Insecta. I think this is French. Description. La pâte couture de chenipan se termine par de ventoux et qui le permettent d'escalader le pente et le mur sans se fatiguer. Dans le Sacha capture un Pokémon. Apparently, Ash is named Shaka. Uh, les vieux champagne rêve d'un avenir plein de fleurs. Et se voit volant gracieusement comme un propulsion. Uh, premier capture de Sasha, ce Pokémon préventé um, attaque sa prix de l'infant Team Rocket et capture l'équipe corrompue dans ce toile de tendinis et en la façon tombe dans l'Ibu. Uh, premier opération, episode 3, Sasha capture un Pokémon. I believe that is, I, well, I don't know if that's Rattata. It's probably something else. And we got Metapon. Uh, Volsum Caterpie, Sage 1. It's got 70 HP, uh, leaf type, I guess. Hakuna Pokemon, length 2 foot 4 inches, weight 22 pounds. Stiffen. For 2 colors energy. Flip coin, if heads prevent all damage done to Metapon during the opponent's next turn, any other effects of attacks still happen. And stun spore, <coughs> stun spore, uh, two leaf, flip a coin of heads. The defending Pokemon is now paralyzed. Twenty damage, and it's got a weakness to fire. It's resistance to nothing, and it's got a retreat cost of two energy. Um, it is vulnerable to attack because its shell is soft. So it is weak and tender body. What does the body of a Metapod look like? It's level twenty-one. Again, weirdly enough, and it's number eleven. And it's illustrated by Ken Sugimori, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-eight. Then Metapod, number 11. Type Bug. Metapod is the second stage of evolution for Caterpie. Uh, is in the first stage of evolution, actually. Metapod are vulnerable to attacks while the shells are soft. Exposing a weak and tender body and challenges the samurai, Ash's Caterpie, since his first cocoon involves into the oddly shaped Metapod. He then encounters an ominous young samurai out to prove his worth as a Pokemon trainer. It's Metapod against Metapod as the two masters to be unleash their contestants. Who is the greater Pokemon trainer? Metapod, go! I assume that was a very boring episode, even though Metabot can use Tackle to evolve some Caterpie for some reason. Well, for obvious reasons, but should be able to do that anyways. Episode 4, Challenge of Samurai, and I believe that is a G-Dude. Then we got Butterfree. This is a stage 2 evolution. Evolve some Metabot. Um, 70 HP, and it's a Leaf type. Kind of, again. Yeah, so basically, you know, um, I think Bug, Poison, uh, at the beginning was Leaf as well, then it turned into Psychic for some reason. <coughs> well, because Purple, but... I think those are all the types that encompass, yeah, Bug, Grass, Poison for, I think, Gen 1, and maybe Gen 2. Again, I think, I think it's changed now. Or no, well, we'll find out. Um, yeah, the way that Weedle's looking down there is looking like, yeah, whatever. It's not psychic anymore. Anyways, 
Butterfly Pokemon, oh, Butterfly Pokemon, length 3 foot 7 inches, weight 71 pounds. For 2 energy, you can cast Whirlwind. If your opponent has any bench Pokemon, he or she, choose one of them and switches it with the defending Pokemon, do the damage before switching the Pokemon. And that damage is 20. And then, uh, Mega Drain. For 4 leaf energy, remove a number of damage counters from Butterfree equal to half the damage done to the defending Pokemon. After applying weakness and resistance, round up to the nearest 10. So default, that would be 20 because you're doing 40 damage. Um, oh no, but if it's a weak to that, then you're healing 40 because you're doing 80. Uh, for the beginning cards, and then I think it changes to like plus 30 damage. Anyways, it's weak uh, to fire, it's a resistance uh, to fighting uh, of a minus 30. It's got no, you can retreat it anytime you want for some reason. In battle, it flaps its wings at high speed through these highly toxic dust into the air. Level 28, number 12. Straight by Kikamira Hinmano, 95, 96, and 98. Here we got number 12, Butterfree. Uh, type bug description. Stage 3 of this Pokemon evolution is the most gracious of all. As the awkward shell of the Metapod bursts open and the brilliant colored creature reveals itself to the world. In battle, Butterfree can flap its wings at high speeds to release highly toxic dust into the air. The Metapod sacrifices itself to save Ash from an attack, Beedrill, in Challenge of the Samurai. Wait, so it evolves in Challenge of the Samurai, then it becomes Butterfree instantly? I mean, I guess that makes sense because, you know, it's only three levels difference. And the eager trainer's innocent Metapod is ripped open by the Beedrill Stinger. Butterfree is revealed, a dream realized. Perseverance, episode 4, Challenge of the Samurai, and I believe that is Meowth. And then we got um, a Weedle, 50 HP, leaf type, uh, number 13, hairy bug Pokemon, height 1 foot, weight 7.1 pounds. It's a leaf type, leaf munch, 10 plus. When it's an active Pokemon, it's a leaf Pokemon, this is active, 20 more damage. It's got a weakness of fire times 2, and it's uh, no resistance, and its uh, retreat cost is 1 energy. I found a forest and grassland is a sharp, toxic barb of around 2 inches on top of its head. It's a retreat cost of 1 energy, it's in 2014, and it's illustrated by... Suwama Shiaki. Probably saying that completely wrong. And we got Wheel 50 HP, um, one Lee, it's a leaf type. <coughs> Illustrated by Atsuka Nishidi, Nishida. Um, string shot for one colorless energy and 10 damage. Flip a coin if heads the defending Pokemon is now paralyzed. It's got a weakness of fire, no resistance, and it's a retreat cost of one energy. Uh, 2005. I don't know, I said the. Yeah, so these cards between, like, 2005 and 2007-ish, I think. Maybe, yeah. Maybe 2008. Do not have descriptions for some reason of the Pokemon. Then we got Weedle, um, again, 40 HP, Leaf type. Hairy Bug Pokemon, length 1 foot, weight 7 pounds. Poison Sing for 1 Leaf Energy, flip a coin. If Head's a defending Pokemon, is now poisoned, for, and it does 10 damage as well. Weakness to fire, resistance to nothing, retreat cost of one air en one, one air energy, yeah. Um, one color is often found in forest, eating leaves. The sharp venomous stinger in its head, level 12, number 13. Inserted by Mitsuru Arita, and 596-98. Now I think about it, what is that, um, Pokemon, online Pokemon game? That starts with like an S? It's not actually registered by Nintendo or whatever. I wonder, or Game Freak, I guess. I wonder if I should do an RMG of that and just because I think you can get random Pokemon assigned to you. Maybe I should do that. I mean, we do 40 IP Leaf. Um, here he is, Pokemon linked uh, 0.3 meters, give with 3.2 kilograms. It's a heavy bug. Um, if I, oh, wait, never mind. Is a pound... A pound is heavier than a kilogram, generally, right? Well, not even generally. On Earth, I guess. Givangol, Gui, uh, for one leaf energy, you can cast Givangol. Gui and Mon Op, uh, Els at Copes is the Vedidigend Pokemon New Verg Difficulty. Uh, 10 damage, it walked, fire, withstand, nothing. Teru, Tricken, Scotten is one energy. Wurvak uh, gewonden in wooden, where he blood and eat. He haft an sharp giftig sickle obzin hoft. NV12, um, number 13, illustrated by Missouri, uh, Missouri, 
Every weekend, 95, 96, and 98. And then we got oh, number 13. We don't next time, though. So if you enjoy this video, you know what to do. See ya.